They started at 9.11 at night until 9.11 in the morning. You see the pulse going from the east to the west coast. All right, boom, you see that? Those are next rad stations. Each of those towers are 750 kilowatts, pumping out between 2.7 to 2.9 gigahertz in the microwave range. This is roughly the same frequency as your microwave oven, and it has the same cause and effect relationship. This was 12 hours long that they held this pulse while we slept. And look at all the other <laughs> um, anomalies that are happening here on the screen. Look at look at what's going on in Texas. All right, you see that big blast? Looks like a giant laser, doesn't it? Boom! See that? And then it gets obscured by the towers. Now they they can add the Doppler towers with this. Nextrad has like 159. Doppler has 160. Now, you can consider the HARP stations. Uh, there's 33 of those, but they don't show up on this satellite. This covers the microwave range. This is the next rad feed. All right. Now, here's where it gets worse. On the 17th, the next day, here you go. Starts at 8.11 and goes until 9.11 in the morning. So they increase it another hour each day. So this is 13 hours we're getting hit with these frequencies, all right? You go to the 18th. They start at 7.11 at night, going till 9.11 in the morning, increasing it to 14 hours. If you feel like hell, this is a really good reason. Look at this, man. This is insane all across the country. Look at these. Watch these towers and these stations. This is not weather. This is not rain. The light. Look, oh, did you see that huge burst coming out of Nevada? Hang on. We're going to we're going to stop it there. Hang on. Boom. Did you see that? Let's back it up here. Stop it and back it up. What the hell's going on in Nevada, folks? Do you see this? <laughs> this is insane. All right, now when you see the pulse subside, all right, you see that? What is left, we're still picking up microwave radiation. These are your five, your fifth generation network stations that are all lighting up together. So you see how much radiation that is on its own all right now we'll kick in see the pulses from the stations all right you see that how it's radiating from the central points those are towers those are stations this is not a natural anomaly <laughs> and regardless of what excuse they give us for doing this the cause and effect relationship of being radiated with this frequency causes serious damage this uh this scientific study here pmc 7309322 if you want to look it up yourself on the ncbi governmental scientific National Library of Medicine and Center for Biotechnological Information. There you go. Could microwave irradiation cause misfolding of peptides? The answer is yes. All right. Microwaves have been experimentally shown to affect the folding dynamics of peptides and proteins. Do you understand the significance of that? Because this is the core of what causes 
neurodegenerative disorders such as Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, Huntington's, and creutzfeldt jakob disease, as well as certain cancer types. <sighs> this is insane. This is, <laughs> this is the scientific proof of the cause and effect relationship of what this is doing. Okay? It causes cancer. This affects the hydrogen molecule. It breaks the van der Waal bonds, which is the weak electromagnetic field that holds the double strand helix together on your DNA. All right? When you break your DNA, you get all kinds of problems, all kinds of failures. Cancer can be one of them. Neurodegenerative disorders can be another. CJD, Kutzfeld Jakob disease, is also called mad cow. If you do a search, you'll find there's a lot of this coming about now. The cows are innocent, okay? The other thing we need to talk about here is this creates massive electromagnetic fields. All right, if you took any of the injections or the medications that contain any magnetite nanoparticles such as hydroxychloroquine and such you could be affected by this this could cause what they call self-assembly which is the fancy word of making the magnets stick together okay when they get into your bloodstream they will eventually stick together because they're magnets but this will force them together with a magnetic field. And this can be used as a clotting or stroking agent. Do you see where I'm going with this? This needs to be stopped. People need <laughs> to raise their voice and the awareness and say, hey, we're not going to put up with this. There is no good that can be caused from irradiating half the country at night while they sleep. Each of these stations are 750 kilowatts. All right. Some of these, some of these fields are larger than the state themselves. Just to put this into perspective, and they're pulsing it in synchronized bursts from east to west. Now this can be used for weather modification operations as well, but I've been watching this for years and I've never seen the pulsing like this. I've seen it starting with the eclipse and each day it's getting a little bit more. And I'm really, I'm wondering uh, how people are doing in all these areas close to these towers, how many heart attacks and strokes and other issues are happening that we're not hearing about. Anyway. I just thought I'd share this information. It would be nice if we could make it stop. Thanks.